Okay, so here we're gonna start working with art, uh, artificial intelligence for our enemy. Uh, we need or we want uh, this guy to be patrolling uh, this area. So uh, we need to establish this area as as a, uh, as a pattern. So uh, we need to go to Window AI and open our navigation tab so here we're gonna uh, see the, the navigation tab and we need to select let's see is this one so we need to select all the the mesh that contains the, the platform something like that and let's give a navigation static so this one is going to be walkable and then let's go to the bake tab and uh, here it's going to be pretty easy because we don't have like a, like a border so uh, the enemy has to climb or something so we, go, uh, we just need to be moving in this uh, horizontal platform so um, here we have the, the default values so let's click on bake and we're going to see this area it gets blue so this is the area where our enemy is going to be patrolling so uh, then we need to select our enemy one and in inspector we're going to give a nav mesh agent component we just say nav mesh and we have this nav mesh agent so uh, it's going to be a humanoid all these uh, all these settings we're gonna keep it line like default but in this stopping distance we we need to give more stopping distance because once it uh, our enemy collides with our player if he don't have an stop it, uh, a stopping distance so um, our enemy is going to be on on top of our player so we're gonna give him a stop distance of something like three and then let's see the obstacle avoidance so we're gonna give some radius something like this and a height something like this okay i i think we we have it with with this maybe a little more radius okay so that's it now we're going to make some scripting let's create a new c sharp script we're gonna call this enemy O1 move and let's go inside our script so um, here we have it so as long as we're going to be working with the artificial intelligence we need to call the library of artificial intelligence so we, we write using unity engine dot AI that's it and now let's make some variables so uh, as we we need our player to uh, to make some checks on our on our enemy what we want what we want uh, to do is that our enemy stays in one place so when our player is near our enemy needs to be starting moving and then when we player is near the enemy the enemy and we need to start attacking so let's make a serialized field so we can put our player here so we say private transform player then we want a variable of uh, of the nav mesh agent object so private nav mesh agent and we're going to call this one nav and then we need our private animator uh, we uh, we haven't give the, the animator component to our enemy one but it's no problem I'm going to give it later so we have these three variables and these two ones as objects we need to initialize them so 
anim is equals to get component mm, animator. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I spelled this wrong. So that's it. Animator. Okay. And let's give it right now. Ah, uh, enemy 01. Let's give the component animator. Here we have it. Okay. Now, uh, in the scripting, let's initialize the nav mesh. We said nav is equals to get component. Which one is going to be nav mesh agent? All right. So this is it. And um, okay, the first thing we we want to do is. Um, to check when our player is in range. So let's make an this state an if statement if vector tree because we're gonna check in the tree axis dot distance player hmm, player dot position hmm, this with this object transform the position we closed and we say okay all this is if statement let's me all right uh, needs to be uh, less than something like 12 this value we can change it later so uh, we open the braces and say if uh, if this is true so print our player in range all right so let's save this and first we need to go to unity here in unity let's click on our enemy and where is our okay so uh we need to assign our script enemy one move to our enemy one and okay let's see here we have it so uh, we need to assign manually our player right here so let's say um, where is our player 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 here we have this okay so we just uh, assign our player right here and then let's check let's preview our game and I went full the console so um, now the player is in range yes <laughs> here we have this movement and we're going to work with this but now right now we need to say okay our player is is in range so okay it's not in range we see no more is the counting so right now this is in check so okay um, and then let's go to the script and we're gonna say okay uh, Okay, we know our player is in range, and nav uh, dot set the de set destination. Which destination? Well, our player position. So, so our enemy follows the position of our players. Yes. So let's save the script and go to Unity, and let's check. Let's preview the game. Okay, so that's it. Great. <laughs> Our character is still making these funny things. Okay, so um, let's 
let's finish this uh, this chapter. In the next chapter, we're going to take care of uh, this little box we have. So I see you in the next lesson.